Welcome to Standing Firm Tribulation Radio, broadcasting the truth in the last days, giving commentary to the latest news, encouraging the faithful remnant through God's Word to help you stand firm. This is a worldwide ministry to all of God's children, of which many are currently undergoing intense persecution while others are facing an onslaught of demonic activity, extreme weather, and catastrophic disasters. You're listening to Tribulation Radio. Welcome to Tribulation Radio. The name of our show today is Coming Now. No escape from tribulation. We are excited to welcome our newest vocalist and contributor to the show today, Cindy Tilkins Jennings, who is also known as Songbird Cindy. We have all heard the doomsday prophets. We have all heard about the coming tribulation. We have all heard about a coming world war, a meteor falling from the sky, or a worldwide pandemic. But what we haven't heard is what's happening now. Very little is spoken about the trials and tribulation that's affecting the world right now, where most are facing very tragic circumstances beyond what they can handle, or in a life of bondage stripping them of all hope. The struggles are great, Many wonder how much more can they handle. Fear has gripped the world. Islamic terrorism, murders, riots, regional wars, and natural disasters are only the tip of the iceberg on what's really affecting humanity. Humanity is about to explode, and there's nothing they can do about it. We can blame it on the current administration, or many other things such as global warming, but the real blame is much deeper than what most will admit. We will be back in less than a minute after Paula Dispro introduces our show with heavenly music in a short music video. Remember to stay tuned for later in the show when Paula sings a different song each week to the glory of God. Stand firm, stand firm. We are safe within God's loving hands. Keep on trusting all His sovereign plans. Stand firm in Him. Stand firm. Stand firm. Keep on walking in God's holy ways. He will give His strength to face each day. Stand firm in Him. The battle. The struggles are great, but a blessed defeat will not be our fate. For Jesus, Commander, is with us today. He's with us forever. Our current trials and tribulations are deeper than what we will admit. The world is at a breaking point, which few realize. Signs of it can be seen when people start stabbing people in the throat or mowing them down with a truck. Signs of it can be seen when most of the population no longer trusts those in power. Not just President Donald Trump, but the entire staff are coming under scrutiny. Not just Trump, but many other world leaders are having their integrity questioned. Accusations are flying at the speed of light. It seems like everyone is against someone else, causing not only tremendous controversy, but frayed nerves and countless demonstrations. Signs of it can be seen when most people no longer trust what's being reported. The local news has become the fake news, and nearly everything written on the internet or social media is now questioned. The world has gone mad, and it only appears to be getting worse. Dear friends, there's a lot of people hurting, and it's only getting worse. We don't need all the catastrophes to usher in trials and tribulations. For most, it's already here. So what's causing all the pandemonium? While much of it can be attributed to Satan, who is standing behind the scenes, tugging on the thought strings of all the world leaders, 
leading them to make irrational decisions and creating an environment that will perpetuate sin and immorality, that's not the whole story. Many no longer trust in God to deliver them from their suffering and turmoil and have struck out on their own strength to get the world's counsel and psychiatric drugs to solve their many problems. In their great strength, they have now become weak, caught in a web of deceit and bondage to the likes of Satan. The Bible says, Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Isaiah 40.30 They have fallen because they no longer trust in God to deliver them from their self-imposed bondage. They no longer trust God to give them what they need to stand up under their pain and suffering, caused in large part by a world gone mad. They no longer trust in God to deliver them from the power of sin. Many Christians in the world today feel that God has forgotten them, so they have taken matters into their own hands to solve their multitude of problems. For those who want to take matters into their own hands without waiting upon the Lord will fall flat on their face. I have good news. God has not forgotten you. He knows your struggles. He sees your unpaid bills. He sees the medical problems. He understands your emotional problems. He knows about your fear. God has not forgotten you. The Bible says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40.31 This is a wonderful promise from the Bible for those who wait upon the Lord. The question is, how do we wait upon the Lord? It's a two-part question. The first part is we don't rush ahead on our own strength seeking to solve the problem on our own. When tragedy strikes, when circumstances are out of control, That's typically what we do if we're honest, seek to solve the problem on our own. We might offer a short prayer, but rarely do we wait for an answer before decisions are made. Waiting is a hard thing to do. The answer to the second part of the question is to not give up, but to persevere through trials and tribulations. But let those trials and tribulations not be a result of our own doing. We often worsen the matter by making the wrong decision. Any decision to commit immorality, such as lying to overcome trials and tribulations, will only worsen matters, because it excludes God. To exclude God puts us on very shaky ground not only at odds with God, but with the establishment task to uphold the law. To face trials and tribulations without God brings you face to face with many temptations from an evil world. Temptations, if followed up on, will drive you further away from God and alone to deal with your suffering. It's hard to wait up on God, but not impossible. It takes faith believing that God has not forgotten you, that in His time before you are tested beyond what you can handle, He will be there. We must learn how to take hold of God's strength, to endure the trial. To take hold of God's strength is to believe that nothing can destroy us, nothing can take away our prize, nothing can separate us from the love of God and all that He has planned for us. It's when we believe this, really believe it, that our strength is renewed. Remember what the Bible says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40.31 Miraculously, the strength will come when we turn back to God and put our trust in Him alone you will feel so strong that you can mount up with wings as eagles to rise above your difficulties. As we do, we can see that our difficulties are not quite as bad as we originally thought. In fact, from God's perspective, they're not difficult at all. 
If he can hold everything together, which he can, then he can surely solve our most difficult problems. The Bible says we shall run and not be weary, and we shall walk and not faint. Trials and tribulations have a way of knocking us down. As grief turns into depression and stress into anxiety, most are not capable of thinking straight, let alone solving problems. The easy way out for many is turning to the world's counselors to get a prescription of the latest mind-altering drug where thinking is no longer a necessity. Why run when you can sit? Why walk when you can lay down in your bed all day long? Dear children, this is not God's way. He would have you to face your trials and tribulations like a man. Gird up your loins and face whatever adversity that comes your way. If it's persecution, then Christ has promised to give us the words to speak at that very moment. The Bible says, Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise, and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. Jeremiah 117 Friends, when we do not allow it to overcome us, then we shall run and not be weary, and we shall walk and not be faint. Friends, trials and tribulations are here. There is no escaping that fact. We must learn to stand up under them. Please join me in prayer. Good morning, Heavenly Father. How glorious are all your ways. We know at times waiting on you is the hardest thing ever, especially when you seem so quiet. It's at these times that you strengthen our faith, allowing us to recall and meditate upon thy beautiful, all-sufficient word. We dare not strike out on our own to solve our problems, but we wait upon you. In so doing, we have seen many wonderful miracles that brings great joy, strengthening our faith. Although the miracles may appear to be small to some, to us it's enough, knowing that you're here and working in our lives, overcoming obstacles. We pray that all thy beloved children would learn to wait upon you to solve their problems rather than turning to the world's counsel. We pray this in the faithful name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40.31 Hi, my name is Cindy Tilkins Jennings, and God gave me this beautiful song, Whom Shall I Fear, the night before Jim and I were about to lose our trucking business. I asked God for a song that night to help me get through that frightening time. And that night as I dreamt, I got the song, and the next morning it was written on my heart forever, and I went about singing, Whom Shall I Fear? When things fail, when we have losses, we must remember God always has a better plan. Let me encourage you today to trust Him, no matter what your circumstances. God bless. Shall I fear when life spins me round and round? Whom shall I fear? I know I am heaven bound. He's testing me in the fire. He's burning off impure deeds. Here
I'll be back after a 30-second station break. This is a closeout inventory sale for all of my books. I'm offering them with an incredible discount. Final Warning offers evidence that the beast is already building the global city of Revelation. Stand Firm helps build a solid theological belief system, giving you godly counsel for the last days. Guiding Principles for Biblical Counseling is a very practical book for the layman and professional. Revelation Truth is a collection of all my timeless articles written to help us stand firm. If we are not to grow faint or weary, we need to appropriate daily strength from the Lord. Deuteronomy 33.25 says, As thy days, so shall thy strength be. Each day, We need to begin by asking the Lord to provide the strength He has promised us to face whatever issues are before us. This song is my prayer for that help.
Thank you, Paula, for that beautiful song, which gives us great encouragement. Immediately following this important message to humanity, we will be blessed with another beautiful song by Cindy Tilkins Jennings. Songbird Cindy singing solid ground. And friends, that's exactly what we need for the day in which we live. We all know that Jesus Christ came to save the sinner and give them a new life in Him. But what many of us have forgotten is the true nature of sin. Yes, we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But what is sin? We will all agree to disobey any of His commandments is sin. But how many can you quote? You might say, if I love God and my fellow man, that I have fulfilled His commandments. But don't forget that He has given us over 127 commands in the New Testament alone to show us how to love God and how to love one another. On our own, we cannot obey. But with God, all things are possible. Not only has He promised to save us, but give us the ability to obey all of His commandments and trust Him alone. This is all by the grace of God, not by works lest any man should boast. This grace comes through faith, believing in Jesus Christ, who is the true Son of the living God, who died, was buried, and raised on the third day, opens a door to a new life in Him. This is a life where all of our sins are forgiven, and we are made into a brand new creation, where old things pass away. From the very first day, we are given the gift of the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us into all truth, producing every manner of spiritual fruit. This eternal life misses the sting of death and ushers us into His glorious presence. This free gift is given to those who are called into His kingdom. Dear friend, if you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord by placing all of your trust in Him to make you into a new creation and forgive you of all your sins, then you can do that right now in the privacy of your own home. Come to Jesus right now confessing and repenting of your sins telling Him that you believe that He is the Son of the living God and the only path to salvation, asking Him to take full control of your life as Lord. Sometimes my life can get me down No one's around I'm needing hope To ease my mind I'm on my knees But see no sign No sign of hell No sign of change No voice that tries
Teresa Wiggins has a loving heart for the orphans, the widows, and the poor, and invites you to visit her website and make a tax-deductible donation today for one of these precious children. These are only two of the many hungry and deprived children that could use your help. The little girl and boy are from Uganda, Africa. Make your tax-deductible donation today using the PayPal button. Thank you for your help. Thank you for listening to Tribulation Radio. I pray that God has richly blessed your listening experience. Please help us spread the truth by telling your friends and family about Tribulation Radio. May our God bless and protect you until we meet again. Mm -hmm.